In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 29, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Southern California vs. Arizona The 10th-ranked USC Trojans will head to Arizona Stadium on Saturday night in a Pac-12 conference matchup. They are currently 6-1 and are coming off of a tough 43-42 road loss against the 20th-ranked Utah Utes back on October 15. Sophomore quarterback Caleb Williams had a great game as he finished going 2-5 of 4-2 for 381 yards with 5 passing touchdowns as well as 8 carries for 57 yards in the rushing game as well. The Arizona Wildcats have been struggling this season as they are 3-4 so far this season and are riding a 2-game losing streak after a 49-39 road loss back on October 15. Sophomore quarterback Jaden DeLora had a big statistical game as he went 2-5 of 3-4 for 400 yards with four passing touchdowns through the air and 13 rushing attempts for 41 yards on the ground. This is an extremely tough stretch of games beginning for Arizona as after they face off against USC, they play on the road against Utah and UCLA. Caleb Williams is absolutely dominant as he has 10 touchdowns to one interception in his previous three games against some solid defensive programs. Both teams have been doing well on third down conversions, but USC has been a lot better as they are converting on 52.5% of third down attempts while Arizona is doing so on 45 5.5%. These defenses are also the major difference as the Trojans are allowing 22 points in their last five games while the Wildcats are giving up 42 points in their previous four games. Two games ago Arizona gave up 49 points to Oregon and they are going to really struggle against this USC offense. Williams threw for five touchdowns in the last game and he is going to have no issue moving the ball against this Arizona defense. Williams might not throw the five touchdowns again, but this game is going to be a blowout. So the USC Trojans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This total feels like they are expecting the Arizona Wildcats to score a bunch of points here. Jaden Delora is a solid quarterback, but this USC defensive front gets a lot of pressure and their secondary are ball hogs. These offenses in the last four games have been excellent, but still not enough to score that many points as USC is averaging 33 points per game while Arizona is scoring 34 points per game in that stretch. A couple of field goals or punts in this game really makes it difficult to reach that total as 76 points are averaging 1.27 points per minute in regulation. Sure, Arizona's issue against the Pac-12 for the most part has been defense, but even when they keep pace, this is still an Arizona team that likely finished in the low to mid 20s. USC's had an issue with defense at times themselves, but I just don't see the Trojans giving Arizona many opportunities and for Arizona's offense to sputter kind of how it did against Mississippi State and Oregon. The under has hit in six of their previous eight games against each other. I think this one could be a 45 to 24 or 45 to 27 kind of game, but I still see it finishing under this massive total. Bottom line is I just think the total is too high. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Kentucky vs. Tennessee The Tennessee Volunteers play host to the Kentucky Wildcats on Saturday in a crucial Southeastern Conference matchup from Nayland Stadium. The Wildcats looked like the clear second team in the East coming into the season, but the Volunteers have come on strong and look like not only a contender in the division but also on the national scene. Tennessee grabbed the win last season and has won 3 of 4 overall in a series that they have dominated historically. Being at home should continue to give this group confidence, though the Wildcats won't be a pushover. The Tennessee Volunteers are the talk of college football after their win over Alabama. Their offense seems unstoppable, and their quarterback Hendon Hooker might just be doing enough to steal the Heisman Trophy. The Kentucky Wildcats come into this game with the number 9 scoring defense in the country and riding a 3-0 against the spread run against a P-ranked opponents this season. Kentucky has typically relished these spots where they can take advantage of a look-ahead spot for Tennessee as the Volunteers have a date with a P-number-one Georgia next week. 
While the focus continues to be on the Tennessee offense, the question in this game will be the Tennessee pass defense against Kentucky quarterback Will Levis. Hendon Hooker may be getting Heisman consideration, but Levis is getting talk of being the number one overall pick in the NFL draft next spring. When Alabama quarterback Bryce Young went up against Tennessee's defense, he threw for 455 yards and two touchdowns. Even mediocre quarterbacks like Florida's Anthony Richardson, who threw for 457, and LSU's Jaden Daniels, who threw for 300, can have successful passing days against Tennessee. Levis should enjoy the same measure of success as Kentucky is top 10 in the nation in passing efficiency. The Wildcats' defense is also very impressive. The only other Southeastern Conference offense that comes close to matching Tennessee is Mississippi State. Kentucky held that offense to 225 total yards and one offensive touchdown. They won't slow down the Volunteers that much, but if they can keep them in the low 30s, which I think they will, Kentucky can and will cover this number. So the Kentucky Wildcats to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. As much as I like Kentucky's defense to keep Tennessee in check, the reality is that they're unlikely to bottle up the balls for most of the game. Hooker has been exciting to watch because he's consistently moved the football down the field without throwing interceptions. His lone pick this season came against Alabama when he threw for 385 yards and five touchdowns. It's not every day that you see a quarterback pick apart Nick Saban's tied like that. It's also why the balls had the top-ranked defense as far as total yards and points scored per contest. On the other side, Kentucky has been a well-oiled machine since Rodriguez Jr. returned to the backfield and has its own star quarterback dreaming of NFL stardom. The over is 11-1 in the Volunteers' last 12 home games and 7-1 in their last 8 games after allowing more than 280 yards passing in their previous game. I expect a lower scoring first half followed by an explosion of points later in the game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Michigan State vs. Michigan Michigan State will try to pull off one of the biggest upsets of the season when it goes on the road to face number 4 Michigan on Saturday night. The Spartans snapped their four-game losing streak with a 34-28 win over Wisconsin in double overtime two weeks ago before having the week off last week. Michigan remained perfect on the season with its 41-17 win over then number 10 Penn State in its last game. Michigan State has defeated Michigan in back-to-back -back meetings as the Spartans have been able to raise the Paul Bunyan Trophy. This year's Michigan team is more determined than ever to get that trophy back to Ann Arbor and this year's edition provides a great chance. Michigan State has not been great on offense as their past game has struggled especially in key times. Michigan's defense has been outstanding this year as they boast a top 10 run and pass defense. Michigan relies heavily on the run as they rushed for over 400 yards against Penn State in their latest game. Michigan State cannot stop the run at times, they give up an average of 153 yards per game on the ground. Michigan's offensive line is going to open holes against the Spartans' front seven all night long. A jam-packed big house in primetime will provide a great backdrop to a resounding Michigan W so the Michigan Wolverines to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Spartans do not have a high-powered passing attack and their ground game has not been able to get anything going, so I do not see a scenario where they score more than 14 points in this game. Michigan has been relying on its rushing attack and strong defense all year, which are both characteristics of a low-scoring team. The Wolverines have fit the bill, cashing the under in six of their last eight games. I simply cannot back the over in a game involving Michigan State, which has gone under the total in five of its last seven road games. Under the projected total is our full game total. Total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.